Todd, what's happening? We're passing through the space beyond our dimension. Mama Bear, I want to go home. What? Dad, we're out of milk. Okay, I'll go get some. Wait, Dad. You're coming back, right? Why? Are you worried because of that silly meme? Don't worry, I'll be back, I promise. Okay. Hey, Benker Jr. Sorry, we have to steal your dad for a while. Wait, what? It's an emergency. We need your dad to go to space with us. Again? Yes, we must go now, or it'll be too late. To do what? Sorry, it's better for you not to know. Captain, isn't the space mission delayed? No time to explain. Let's go now. Dad, are you really going? Don't worry. The higher-ups have already sent someone to look after him. Son, by the time I come back, we might even be the same age. Just like the movie, Interstellar. Hmm. Huh? Wow. Son, I'm back. Okay, then we can go to school together, right? It doesn't work like that. Now let me go finish the mission, so I can come back to you sooner. Okay, Dad. Two months ago, a wormhole appeared near the moon. And it is getting closer to Earth as we speak. Your mission is to travel to the other side of the wormhole, and assess whether it poses a threat to our planet. Welcome aboard. I'm Tar, your tactical robot. I'll be assisting you with the mission. Cool name. Sounds intelligent and reliable. Huh? My name is Bobo Bear. And I'm Banker. Nice to meet you. Listen team, we don't have time for monkey business or chit chat. We have a wormhole to investigate. Let's finish this mission and make our grandpas proud. Yes sir! Is everyone ready? Yes, yes Captain. Captain. Todd. What's the launch status? All systems are go, Captain. We can launch at your command. Good. Initiate the launch sequence. T minus five. Four. Main engine start. Three. Two. One. Booster ignition. And lift off. Engines look good, and we are heading to the wormhole. How much longer till we reach the wormhole? It is still four days away. I suggest you go down for a nap to conserve life support. A four day nap? Correct. Our food is limited. When you are in the cryosleep pods, your bodies don't need as many resources. Cryosleep? So we'll be frozen for four whole days? Yes, but to you, it only feels like a nap. 
Um, what about our bladders? I don't want to implode because of my pee. What? Don't worry. Your pee and poo will be frozen too. <gasps> you all heard the robot. Let's not waste our breath and get into the cryopods. Okay. Good night, team. See you in four days. Good morning, everyone. We've reached the edge of the wormhole. In two more hours, we'll be going through it. It really did feel like a nap. Let's finish our breakfast and get ready. Banker, you have two video messages from your son. Do you want me to play it on the screen? Yes, please. Hey, Dad. Today is the first day since you left. I hope you're doing well on your mission. I just wanted to tell you that I miss you. Aww. Don't worry. A CIA lady is looking after me. It turns out she has a daughter around my age. Name is Ashley. I like her. Finally, I'm gonna have a grill friend. <laughs> Dad, travel safe. Did he just say girlfriend? Or grill friend? I heard grill friend. Well, maybe I'm just imagining things. Tard, play the next message. Hey, Dad. Today is the second day. This is Ashley. The girl I told you about yesterday. And we are getting married. Huh? <laughs> Mary? You meant dairy? Yes, sorry. We are going to a dairy farm to get milk and cheese. Ashley said they're great for grilling. She's been grilling delicious food. Wish you were here. Anyway, we gotta go. Take care, Dad. See, Ashley is just his girlfriend. I hope so. Let's finish this mission before he gets himself in trouble. Alright, time to get ready to enter the wormhole. Wow. Tard. Are you sure we can go through it in one piece? In theory, yes. That's reassuring. That theory better be right. Get ready. Brace yourselves and hold tight. Whoa, 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 hey, 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 hey! Everyone, hang on. Tard, what's happening? We're passing through the space beyond our dimension. Mama Bear, I want to go home. What? Captain, wake up. Captain Strong Cat, please wake up. You're finally awake. What? What happened? We crash landed here. The good news is everyone is alive. The bad news? Our starship got destroyed. Where is my team? They are in another abandoned UFO. Abandoned UFO? Yes, and this alien helped me carry you here. I may name on Vlas. Huh? Todd, can you understand what he's saying? Of course. Wow. Not. Of course not. Bruh. Captain, I can only guess his intentions with an accuracy of 66%. He's been acting friendly and helpful. Good, we may need his help to go back to Earth. A Benka and Bobo bear awake. Yes, this way. Captain, we were so worried about you. Captain, are you alright? Yes, how about you too? I'm okay, just a few scratches. 
Same here. How do we go home without our starship? Todd, what are the conditions of these abandoned UFOs? My analysis shows they were abandoned a long, long time ago. Can we still fix one of them? No, not this alien technology. Samit me, Mr. Blackmoon. I guess he is signaling us to follow him. Can we trust him? What if he plans to eat us all? If that's his plan, we'd all be dead by now. He's the only alien we've met, and we need his help. Right now, we have no choice but to trust him. But... Bobo Bear, Captain's right. If things go wrong, we can fight him. Captain is strong. Right. Come on, let's go. Whoa. An alien restaurant? Great, I'm starving. I can eat an alien cow. I thought there would be more aliens here. What is he doing? Thanks. Captain, is this safe to drink? It looks like a broccoli milkshake. Todd, can you analyze the drink? It has no known toxic substances. It contains mostly unknown alien ingredients. But the unknown ingredients could be toxic. Correct. I think he said, cheers. Captain, if he drank it, it means it's safe, right? Wait, we are not the same species as him. Just like chocolate is toxic to dogs, but not to humans. Okay. Huh? What? Oh, this is the best drink I've ever had. Benka, spit it out. What's the problem? It tastes a bit like peanut butter. You should try it. Whoa, it tastes a bit like banana ice cream. Huh? Not bad. It tastes like chicken nuggets to me. What? See, I told you it's good. I wonder what drink this is. It's green milk. Wait, you can speak English all along? No, it's the effect of green milk. It gives us the ability to understand a foreign language instantly. But it only works for the first language you hear after you drink the milk. Like learning the first language when we were babies. Yes. What if we want to learn another language with green milk? Drink another cup. Can I try it? Tard, after I drink this, can you play some random Chinese audio? Yes. What level of Chinese do you want? The John Cena level. So well, I wish I could get some green milk for my son. I promised him. John, who are they? Stand down. We need them for the operation. 
You've already told them our secret operation. Whoa! Sorry, Ja. I'm afraid we'll have to kill them. We can't have loose ends. Wait. They are from the other side. Of the wormhole? I found them when they crash landed here. Their technology is very primitive. TZ87, check their droid to see if it's true. Huh? Hey, Sanic, please be gentle. EMOTIONAL DAMAGE! Listen, there aren't many of us left already. We need any help we can get. What are you talking about? After many wars, the population of our galaxy has been drastically reduced. The last thing we want is another war. TZ-87, what did you find? It's true. They are from a planet they call Earth. Look, we're not looking for trouble here. We're here to investigate whether the wormhole poses a threat to our home planet. There's a threat, not only to Earth, but also to our galaxies. How serious is the threat? The moving wormhole is placed by the remnants of the Imperial forces. They built a super weapon at their Starkiller base, and the weapon created the wormhole. And it's been calibrated to target the Earth. Oh no. But why do they want to destroy our home? They don't. The super weapon is not physically destructive. It's a psychological weapon. Once it strikes Earth, the entire population will become mindlessly obedient puppets of the Empire. Then, another war will start all over again. Captain, we must go home and warn everyone. It'll be too late. The super weapon is 86% charged and will fire in two days. Our best option now is to have you join our operation. What operation? Deactivate the super weapon and close the wormhole. But how are we gonna get home without the wormhole? Our ships can jump into hyperspace. We can take you home without the wormhole. Okay, what's the plan? What you're holding are called blasters. They are configured to paralyze targets. It's to avoid unnecessary casualties. Now aim and pull the trigger. Listen, try not to use the blasters unless your life depends on it. We don't want any troopers pulling the alarm. What happens if the alarm goes off? Oh, then he will be there in a matter of minutes. Who's he? Let's hope we never see him. But once you do, don't hesitate to open fire. Okay. Tomorrow morning, we'll split into two teams. Tali, Myrae, and TZ87 will be Team B. And the rest of you will be with me, we are Team A. Team A's objective is to infiltrate a secret, remote Imperial base. The base is the actual control center of the super weapon. We go in, find the chief scientist, and have him disable the super weapon. Why isn't the control center at the Starkiller base? They believe it's safer to have the control center off-site. But what about the wormhole? As the super weapon fails, the wormhole will also collapse. So, what is Team B's mission? Team B will be on standby at the Stakula base. In case of Team A fails, Team B will be there to blow up the entire base. How do Team B get out before the explosion? We don't. 
There will be many casualties if that happens. That's why you, Team A, have to succeed. Don't worry, with the four of you joining this operation, our chances of success have dramatically increased. Tolly, don't forget to teach them to use the big guns. If he comes, we will need them. Who's he? All right, everyone, this is it. This may be our last goodbyes. Good luck, may the force be with you. And also with you. All right, Team A, let's go. That's the entrance. According to our source from the inside, the base is not heavily guarded. Why does this sound suspicious? Are you sure this is not a trap? Yes, the inside source is reliable. Remember, don't fire unless it's necessary. Trooper. We need distraction. That's Benka's specialty. Good job. Todd, you stay here and keep watch. Roger. All right, let's move. The chief scientist is not in the control room. Be quiet, let's roll. Two troopers outside the scientist's office. He should be in there. Try not to make any noises. We must take them out at the same time. Okay, let's do this. On my mark. Three. Two. Huh? Sorry, I'm too nervous. Hey yo, what the? Who's there? Excuse me, do you know where the washroom is? What the? How did you get in here? And his name is John C. Easy! Impressive. I just want to see my son sooner. Alright, let's get this done. Move on. Don't try anything stupid, like pulling the alarm. Please don't hurt me. They threatened to kill me and forced me to work here. We won't, if you deactivate the super weapon. I can't. He's gonna be here and kill me. We will take you with us before he comes. Okay, I will do it. But once it's deactivated, you have to get me out of here fast.
stand over there. Deactivate the weapon now. It's done! We have to leave now. Message from Team B. Two TIE fighters just left the Star Killer base. Let's go. We are too late. He's here. Get your big guns out and get ready. Whoa! Oh, we are so dead. Open fire. I'm out. Me too. Did you just use the Dark Force? I don't know. Is everyone alright? I'm okay. But I don't think I can move for a while. Me too. Todd, did you say there were two TIE Fighters? Yes, Captain. Then, where is the other one? Quick, come here and grab this. If you can use the Force, then maybe you can also use this lightsaber easily. Possible. Did you defeat Darth Lizard with the Force Lightning? Who are you? Don't let your guard down. He's Emperor Pulputi, a Sith Lord like Darth Lizard. Where did you learn to use the Dark Force? Are you a Sith? No, I have no idea what you're talking about. Then you must be extremely Force sensitive. Especially to the Dark Side. Join me and become my apprentice. With proper training, you and I can rule the universe together. No, you tried to attack my home planet. And I don't want Putin as my master. <laughs> then you leave me no choice. Prepare to be destroyed. Shoot him. What? They are my informants. The inside source. Strong cat, it's been a while. What? Who are you? Former FBI Director and Tubers96? Ever since our last fight, we've been trying to get home. We ended up being forced to work here. They interrogated us about Earth. That's why they built the superweapon. Well, now the superweapon is shut down. Let's all go home. Team A, can you move now? Yes, yes Captain. Captain. Todd, tell Team B, mission accomplished. So they don't blow up the Starkiller base. Roger. What about me? You're free to go. Alright, everyone, get to my ship. I'll take you home. No need. I can open a portal. It'll be faster. How? The force you mentioned. 
It feels just like the magic in the magic world, Oasis. I didn't realize I could use it until Darth Lizard attacked us. Time to go, everyone. Jar, thanks for everything. Wait, before you go. I have something for Benka. It's for your son. You promised, didn't you? Yes, thank you so much. Now go, take care. You too, Jar. Ashley, I... I love you. Can you be my girlfriend? Sorry, I can't. Why? You should turn around. Son, what's going on? Dad, you are back. As promised, I got you milk. Try it, it's a gift from our alien friend. It's good. So what are you two doing here? Oh, fishing. We were fishing. Ashley, right. Hey, yo, what the? Ashley.